In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Ping G430 LST. This three wood promises to be a rocket and you won't believe the price of it. It's a good looking club, it is. Tiny bit of a pull there, but it still felt good. I like it, I do. That feel confused me. So this is the first full review here in the Hit Studio. And before I kick things off, I just want to thank everybody for their support. Over 170,000 subscribers. Shout out to you founder subscribers. Thank you so much. It means the world. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing this brand new three wood, the Ping G430 LS Tech. And I'm also going to be hitting the Max, the G430 Max three wood and last year's LS Tech 3 wood, just to see the differences between the three. Now, I'm really excited about reviewing this 3 wood. As I mentioned at the start, this 3 wood is priced somewhat ridiculously, I would say. This is £500. It's £170 more expensive than the standard G430 3 wood. The LS Tech is packed full of technology, however. Titanium face, carbon crown, huge tungsten weight at the bottom. Now the LS Tech stands for low spin technology. And typically a three wood like this is designed for your better player or someone who wants to reduce that spin to hit their three wood as long as possible. Now, before I start reviewing and hitting shots with this three wood, I wanna talk about the looks. I think Ping do a great job with their three woods. I love how shallow the face is. I think that's such a benefit, certainly when you're trying to hit three woods off the floor, you don't want anything to be too, you don't want the face to be too deep. It gets harder to hit off the floor. And in conjunction with that, I love the flat bottom of three woods, of pink three woods. I think they sit brilliantly on the floor. And that same trend sits between this LS Tech version, the Max version, and even previous three woods of pink that they brought out. And also, I just genuinely like the finish. I love this matte crown. I think that looks really good. There's obviously these kind of pops of color with this kind of greeny yellow flicks, etc., around the kind of toe and somewhat around the heel. And you can really see the tungsten weight on the bottom. It's a huge amount of weight at the bottom of this three wood. But in conjunction with the size of it, I mean, that is taking a huge majority of the head space, just that weight alone. Also, pink three woods can go up and down in loft. You can go up by one and a half, down by one and a half, up and down by 0.6, similar to the drivers. So there's a bit of adjustability in here as well. As I mentioned, I'm gonna kick things off with the review of actually hitting the G430 Max three wood first, just to get some baseline numbers. I'm also gonna use the same shaft with all of the three different heads. This is the Tensai 75 gram Flex X. And also I wanna make one small correction to what I said a minute ago. The loft goes up and down by one and a half degrees, I said, but it actually goes up also one degree. And you can also put this head into a slightly flatter head shape position. So let's lock this in, 15 degrees, standard three wood loft. And we're gonna go with the 430 max head first. The big visual difference is there's not that big tungsten weight in the bottom. Actually, face profile still looks about the same. It's lovely and shallow, really flat, flat bottom. But this time it's not got the titanium face, it's actually just a steel face. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to hit in this. I do like hitting three woods, I do. And I must admit, I think this pink G430 lineup looks incredible. Right, let's get hitting. So behind the ball, I do really like that low profile of the face. I think it's really good. This is, the Max version has a bigger footprint behind the golf ball, but it's not, it's not like it's oversized. It's still a really nice shape. I do like, I really like how Ping 3 would sit to the, behind the golf ball. I think they're gorgeous. Yeah, very nice, right? Let's get into some of these G430 Max 3 woods first. A little bit down the right, but not bad. For me, a three wood, if I catch it well, will probably be carrying around the kind of 240, 250 mark. So I feel like that's what we should be aiming for with this three wood. A 
I mean, that, <laughs> that's a really interesting one. Uh, full disclosure, I hit that absolutely awful, like really low on the heel, and it still managed to carry 224. I do the max with the weight right at the back in this three wood gives me that confidence. And for a lot of higher handicappers, people who struggle finding the middle a lot more, that kind of max term, certainly in ping, I do, I do actually think it means something. Other brands use max or more forgiving, etc. I think when ping do it, they really do a great job of that max. Max forgiveness. I need to hit one in the middle though. That one was uh, very much in the heel. All right, so this three wood, the G430 Max, did exactly what I expected it to. Gave me 236 yards of carry, and don't get me wrong, I didn't hit it perfect. That was average numbers. When I crushed it, I got close to that 250. But as I mentioned, it's a really forgiving three wood. Now we've not come to this video to talk about the Max three wood. We've come to talk about the new LS Tech. But what's got me thinking? Like this three wood's good, like really good. And it's still not cheap, it's 330 pounds. What on earth is the LS Tech gonna offer me considering it's 170 pound more, 500 pound total? Before we come on to that 430 LS Tech, I wanna hit last year's LS Tech, just again, get some baseline numbers. Okay, last version of the LS Tech, this is the G425. Now, bear in mind the popularity of the G425 drive. I mean, it's one of the best drivers Ping have ever made. I've still currently got it in the bag. Um, this three wood, this LS Tech version, is a very good looking three wood again. It's much simpler design. It's matte black top, super flat bottom. This for me, I would expect to carry further than the Max. Footprint behind the golf ball, it's smaller, definitely. Where I might gain some distance, I might lose out on a bit of forgiveness, let's see. And you know what, just before we were doing some research about the G425 LS Tech, and actually you can pick them up online now for about 230 pound. So like half the price of the new one. So I mean, I'm, I'm intrigued genuinely to see if there's much of a difference between the two versions of the LS Tech. Cosmetically, I'd say there is. Performance wise though, that's gonna be the big question. Really nice. Oh God, that felt good. That was absolutely in the middle of the club face. 200, 249 yards carry on the nose. Oh God, that felt good. And the other thing I'm definitely noticed, even just on that first shot, the sound difference. As I've many times talked about the G425 Max driver being loud, quite tingy, quite, I don't know, quite offensive, some you'd almost say. This three wood has similar vibes. It's quite a loud three wood where I feel like the newer versions are definitely sounding better. <laughs> Granted, both of those two were hit absolutely in the middle. I would uh, be intrigued to find out if I hit one, what happens to the performance when I don't hit the middle. I've got a funny feeling we're gonna find out. <laughs> right, let's hit a few more. That one was a bit more low heel. Let's see what the drop off in performance is. It still needs to be in the 230s to con be considered as a good shot still. Oh, bang on 230 yards. Now, as you can see there, just from a few shots, that strike was very, very low heel. There's been a 20 yard difference there between a good strike and a bad strike. I think that's where you start to just lose that little bit of um, I like consistency as you move into the LS Tech woods. But I suppose they are designed for players who are going to hit the middle a little bit more. You know what? That G425 LS Tech does exactly what it says on the tin. I thought the performance off the centered strikes was brilliant. Like I was way more into the 250s. Actually, start, I think I hit the record shot of 254 with this three wood. 
you do lose forgiveness on off centered hit as I expect, but on average there, I hit this carry distance 242 yards. Again, exactly where I want to see it. Ever so slightly lower spin rate, but only by a touch and more ball speed. Now, if that is as good as it is, and it really is, how on earth is this 430 LS Tech going to be that much better? Like, genuinely, what I'm trying to understand is what, what am I going to see and what we're going to expect? Like, really, again, we've got to consider the price. It's a big factor in this three wood. And also the technology, like with the new one, is a carbon crown, is a titanium face. There's that huge tungsten weight at the bottom. I mean, are we going to be setting some record three woods as we move into the new one? Let's find out. Okay, here we go. The G430 LS Tech. I'm putting in the same setting, 15 degrees, same shaft. What is this multi-material, 500 pound three wood going to offer? I mean, never thought I'd see the day. But certainly ping, you know, they're not dead cheaping, don't get me wrong, but I mean, they're really going expensive with this. It's a good looking club, it is. It does look quite a bit different to last year's model. I would say it's marginally bigger, just from toe to heel. Still got that very classic shallow face design. Right, let's give it a crack. There's a couple of things I'd love to see. Definitely more distance, without question. If it offers the same level of forgiveness than the Max, I mean, that would be a huge bonus. But also, I want to know that it sounds a bit better. I'm hoping that this three wood sounds good and goes 10 yards further. Let's see if it does. It should do. It's a good looking club behind the ball, I must say. So strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what this can do. Wow, it felt good. Jeez. The, the, the standout thing for me there was the feel. That felt really, really bloody good. I've middled it like you can't believe. I've hit right in the center of the club face. It had that nice big high towering draw. It carried 255 yards, which is the longest three wood I've hit out of all of the three, one, three woods I've hit so far today. I mean, I'd be intrigued to know if it can do much more than that, because that felt pretty perfect, but let's find out. Like the sound, loved the feel. It might be that kind of placebo effect, but because I know there's so much weight at the bottom of this wood, it gives me confidence. Like I use a three wood that has rails across the bottom and that gives me confidence. I felt like the weight of this club gave me the confidence that I could hit the bottom of the ball. I like that. Tiny bit of a pull there, but it still felt good. God, it's gone long again. I'm enjoying hitting this wood. I mean, I am. First two shots. I know that one went a little bit more left, but the feel off the face. It's a pull, so I'd expect it to go a little bit further, but that went 256 yards. Come on, let's whack a few more. Big high fade. I don't think that would have gone as far, but what I'm interested to find out with that shot, that was that low necky three wood, which so far I've hit with the Max last version's LS Tech, and now this version's LS Tech. That carried, that was a necky, not a good strike. That carried 230 yards. And truth be told, if I hit that sort of shot on the golf course, it wouldn't offend me. It'd be short of the green if I was going for a par five, but it wouldn't offend me. It wasn't, that, that kind of offered me a, a decent level of forgiveness there, which is good. Tiny bit left, but smoked. I like it, I do. Feels really good. That was an interesting one. Kind of questioning that one a little bit. I, I genuinely, I hit that. I thought I'm right in the middle of the club face. I did, I felt like I was good. I was expecting to stand up there and see this little fade that would kind of go down towards target. So it's a massive slice. That's only carried 226 yards. That feel confused me. Because on all the other three woods I've hit so far, I knew when I'd hit a bad shot, like I could tell, obviously I've hit loads and loads of golf balls, certainly doing reviews and testing, etc. That one felt good, but the performance shocked me. Mm. 
Not sure what it's telling me, but it's uh, it's confused me a little bit, that one. But let me, at least it still felt good. Okay, that one was better. <laughs> that one was better golf shot. Yeah, lovely, right in that 250s. You know what I also really like as well? Sometimes for me, low spin three woods gives me this fear that you can only really use it off the tee or you're going to hit these three wood shots that go into par fives, etc. is going to come out like a bullet. They're not. Like the peak height of that is really, really high and it's coming down and landing soft. It's kind of what you really want in a three wood. You certainly want that versatility. If you're hitting it into long par fives, you want it coming down and stopping quick. So a couple more. Ah, this, I think this is just where it's, it's showing its uh, weaknesses, I would say. There's that shot that leaked off right and felt good. There's that shot that, again, felt really good, but it's gone a long way left. I feel like the right to left dispersion on this three wood is a little bit wider. And again, I've said this before, it's probably not, well, it's not designed for higher handicap or someone who maybe doesn't hit the ball as good as they should do. It's designed for really, really good players who you know, want the most out of their three wood. Let's go one more. It's redeemed itself. That's a lovely finishing shot. Can't ask anything more than the three wood than that. Big high fade, just up to 250 yards. Spot. Okay, so that's all the shots hit with all of the three clubs. And look at the numbers. The G430 LS Tech. 500 pounds three wood does perform better. On average, carrying distance of 249 yards on average. The biggest standout feature was the reduction in spin. The other two three woods were getting closer to 4,000 spin. This one has come down really low to 3,000 RPM spin. Same ball speed, same club head speed, but with that lower spin, it's giving that extra distance without, interestingly, losing height. Like the peak height of all of the three woods were pretty much the same. What's interesting here for me is, coming back to the price, is this ping G430 LS Tech three wood worth 500 pounds? Yeah. And you might think, what? I'm gonna say, yeah because of who is likely to be buying this three wood. It's going to be elite players. It's gonna be the best players at your golf club, the, the best players in your in your country or whatever it may be, and tour professionals who probably won't be paying 500 quid, granted, but it's for your, for your elite. And why I say it's worth it for those golfers is often if you find a three wood that absolutely suits your game, you will have that three wood in your bag for years. And many people, elite players will be buying this for 500 pounds, they might keep this three wood in the bag for 10 years, 50 quid a year effectively, instead of jumping between different three woods trying to find the perfect answer. This three wood is not for mass production. If you are not one of the best players, I wouldn't even look to consider this three wood. You'd be looking at your max. And Ping know that. Ping haven't made this three wood for everybody. If the price of all three woods went up to 500 pounds, we're in trouble. That's not where we want to see the game going. But I think for this specialized golf club, it might just be worth it. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the first ever review here in the Hit Studio. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you again to all the founder members. You've been amazing. And uh, let's send this channel to the moon. 200,000 subscribers is what's next. We'll see you next time.